Hey guys, have you ever had any interest in growing artichokes from seed? Well, today you watch this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right guys, so these are artichoke seedlings. Okay, so artichokes are native to the Mediterranean and they are actually perennials in zones seven to 11 in the USDA. However, can you grow them in colder climates? Absolutely. However, you're gonna to need to do a few things to trick these guys into flowering the first year. So let me go ahead and get you some of that information right now. Okay, so in order to trick your artichoke seeds for flowering the first year, like I mentioned, they're perennials, so they're often not gonna even flower in the first uh, season. So we need to trick them. So what you need to do is start your artichoke seeds at least nine, maybe even 12 weeks prior to your last frost indoors. Okay, so that's gonna get them off to a great start, get a head start on a very long season uh, vegetable crop. Okay, although it is you're eating the, in at the immature flower. So vegetable, you might be loosely interpreted, okay? So anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grow the seedlings out. And I got a tray right here that I started almost two, if not three months ago, almost dropped them. But um, so what you do is you bring them outside in the cold weather, okay? They need at least two weeks, maybe even longer at below 50 degrees, but not frosting. So if you live in California where they're grown prolifically or in the Mediterranean where you have a long, cool spring, that's what actually sets the clock for these uh, vegetables here, these flowers, to actually put on that uh, shoot later on in the season. So what we need to do is start them super early, trick them into flowering by exposing them to a long, uh, prolonged uh, cold snap. Okay, so getting them to flower in the first year is also dependent on the variety. Okay, now this is an heirloom variety of Violet de Provence. Okay, this is from Baker Creek. If you wanna see my seed haul where I showed you when I bought these amongst many other, check out the link up here. However, there are other varieties called such as Imperial Star. Okay, now that has been a hybrid that has been developed to specifically flower in one year and to be grown as an annual. Okay, so that being said, can you grow them successfully? Absolutely. I've read so much literature. Uh, there are actually farms in Canada, believe it or not, that grow hundreds of acres of artichokes as an annual. However, like I mentioned, you need to start them earlier, trick them into thinking they've been through a, like, a nice long cold uh, dormant period, and then they will actually flower in that first year. Okay, so this uh, variety I've never grown before. I'm really interested in trying it. Um, however, this does seem to have a lot, a lot longer season, so maybe this wasn't the best idea to grow in this zone 6B, 7A uh, climate here. However, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to bring you guys along the way. So let's go ahead and talk about planting and just getting your, um, your artichoke patch up and ready for the upcoming season. All right, so as members of the thistle family, Artichokes are gonna put on huge plants, okay? When they're fully grown, you need to space them at least two feet, maybe even recommended up to three feet, depending on your climate. They need to stay consistently moist in order to put on a lot of healthy growth. And they don't like the really oppressive hot and, and just dry areas. So if you do have an area like that, maybe consider growing them in some part shade, maybe some, some evening shade, some morning sun, whatever you may need to do. Uh, consider mulching them to keep them moist, keep them from drying out in order to give you the best results. So one other thing about growing artichokes you may not know, although they are mentioned, they are members of the thistle family, they're actually gonna put on beautiful purple flowers. Okay, so if you get one that's going to fruit or to flower, however you wanna look at it, and it's a little bit past its prime and it's starting to actually expose the flower, you can do one of two things. You can either A, cut the main flower off and just cut your losses and expose the side shoots, which are actually more tender and a little bit more, less fuss when you go to cook with them, okay? Plenty of recipes on that, do check that out. However, if you wanna let it go all the way to flower, beautiful, beautiful pink, purple flowers is gonna attract tons of bees and other pollinators. And it's actually gonna be a very aesthetically pleasing, beautiful flower for your home garden. So hopefully these tips did help you out. If you've ever just thought about growing some artichokes yourself from seed, do give it a shot. There are many, many, many benefits. And another thing, artichokes are expensive. I don't know if you've been to the store lately, but they gotta be expensive, right? So why not grow some of your own and try to save some costs at the very least. And soon you'll be enjoying your very own spinach artichoke dip 
just sauteed artichokes, however you like to enjoy them. Leave some comments down below how you like to enjoy your artichokes, and I'll see you guys next time here at the hillside for some more plant growing, seed starting tips, and all around gardening. All right, guys, until next time, be good. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.